Question number two. The diagram below represents uh, the transverse section through a young dicotyledonous stem and structure F uh, obtained from the same section. Uh, so we have our structure here. Uh, this is uh, labeled E, uh, the transverse uh, section of the young dicotyledonous stem uh, and the structure F we have here. So we answer the question. Uh, A, Roman number one, identify the path labeled E. So this is the path labeled E. That part is known as cabium, or you can also call it vascular cabium. Uh, Roman number two, state the function of the path labeled E. This is the path labeled E, which we have called the cabium. Uh, this is for secondary growth of the plant. Uh, for secondary Uh, growth of the plant i.e. Uh, we can also call it increase in GAD so that's how you answer that uh, we look at uh, part B uh, label the part Z on the section from which structure E that should have been F, so structure F was obtained. Structure F was obtained from here, it's a xylem. So, this is the part that we label Z. Uh, Roman number uh, two state two ways in which E structure F is structurally adopted to its function. This should have been F. So, we say uh, one of the ways is that it is firmly. Uh, connected so you can say firmly connected connected one another firmly connected to one another forming a composite material Composite material for support. So that's one. Uh, another one we can say is that uh, uh, it is lignified. Lignified was for strength. Uh, another one that we can say is that uh, half pits to allow passage of material to allow passage of material materials and we can also say uh, narrow to enhance capillarity narrow to enhance that is to enable capillarity capillarity so if you state uh, you are supposed to give two uh, but i've given you four so any two of these you'll be able to get two marks